every day I get up and go to work, I'm passionate about the people that we're serving. And every day I know I'm doing a part in making people's lives better. Biotechnology is a big word with big implications. Probably the easiest way to define it is to break it into its two component parts. Biology is the scientific study of life. Technology is taking knowledge and using it for practical applications. In the same way that technology itself is just a way of solving problems. The difference between regular technology and biotechnology is that we use biological molecules to do that. So when you put those two together, what we're doing is using what we've learned from the biological systems, processes that already exist in nature, and then translating that to products or services that can really benefit the world. The nice thing about biotechnology is there are many aspects of it. It's a huge umbrella. You can work at agriculture, environmental science, basic research, and biotechnology is then taking those things that have been discovered in research and turning them into products. It can be as simple as using yeast to produce carbon dioxide to make our bread rise. It can be as complex as manipulating DNA to potentially treat a genetic disorder. So um, it's not just human health, it's also how we fuel and feed the world. A biotechnician is an entry-level position, uh, typically in manufacturing, it doesn't have to be, but these are someone who has a skill set uh, to know their way around a wet lab. They also know uh, aseptic techniques, safety. That basic experience is excellent at higher levels in the organization and moving around in different functions. Biotechnology is one of the fastest growing industries, uh, not only here in the state of Georgia where I'm standing today, but nationally as well throughout the U.S. and frankly the world. The industry itself is begging for these problem solvers, people that are dependable, that have the skill sets, and want to be there long term. But what we are working to do is to smooth the transition from educational settings to workforce. And what we're really helping industry to understand with the base is that there is an entire workforce out there that is job ready, that they don't have to wait for them to get that college degree. Historically, industry has assumed that a full post-secondary degree was sufficient uh, indication of the knowledge, skills, and abilities needed for these different kinds of roles. And that's where the BASE comes in. BASE is the Biotechnician Assistant Credentialing Exam. It was created in partnership with the industry so that we could outline competencies and skills that are of value when they're hiring for technician level positions. And more importantly, what it is, is it's an opportunity. It just offers a wide array of pathways into the industry to people who might not formally have been able to transition so easily. When you have the opportunity to earn the base credential and go into a family sustaining wage job while you're pursuing your higher education goals, it allows you to take that first step this is an exam that is vetted by industry and allows students who earn the credential to prove to their employers that they do know these skills. The credential was created by industry. And they also represent different positions within the industry. So every year, the new version of the exam is created to make sure that it remains relevant to industry needs. And uh, because it's specified by the industry, the standards that are current, and those are ever-changing, it's real world skill sets and content. Even students that graduate from university, especially in the past couple years, some of them don't have the required hands-on time in a lab. And that's actually what I love about the base credential. The exam itself, there's a knowledge portion and there is a practical portion. So one needs to be able to talk about what they can do and understand and explain those concepts, but then they need to walk in the doors and complete those concepts. Yeah, someone that is credentialed is a better candidate, someone that knows the background of what we do in our industry and have the competencies in order to be successful. And just looking at the curriculum, our lab leaders knew that this type of candidate is going to be higher quality than any type of candidate that we just get brand new into healthcare. The current generation of young people has a really important perspective on an ethical approach to healthcare, access to healthcare, and is really focused on doing good. And it all starts in high school. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to train up those students to have those skill sets so that they can jump in at any one of those levels along the way. So at our school, we have 
pathways and one of them is biotechnology and that's where we learn how to genetically modify things, things like gel electrophoresis, which is what we did today. And it basically prepares us to go straight into the industry. Uh, you'll be amazed. The things we're doing in our lab here in high school, I didn't even do it in graduate school. So it, it's come so far and, and moving so fast. I have students that are gonna change the world. What really started me with biotech was my best friend. She got diagnosed with cancer when she was in the sixth grade. I wanted to try and find treatments that help take care of the disease without killing the person's body. They know this is real application. This is not pretend. This is not faking it or doing a demo lab. These are real world applications using real science, industry based science. It's the young minds that are the most agile, the most creative. I would say if you're on the fence, you should try it because you get to learn more about how the biotech industry actually works and that's not something you're going to get outside of a class like this. The skills that someone would learn to pass the base are definitely transferable industry skills. They learn professional skills that help them to communicate clearly, work on teams. Even with simple write-ups, that helped me in my English classes, helping me write essays. It doesn't only help with the science, it helps with everything else. Credentialing is crucial as the biotech industry continues to grow at the rate that it's growing. Even if you don't pass the base on your first try, it's a really great way to learn where you need to fill in some gaps in your skills so that you can be ready the next time. And everything that you learn by training and taking the base is going to serve you in your future career in life science. I know many people who started with just a high school degree and it is possible to achieve the highest levels in an organization with just a high school degree. Well, I hope to pass the base, maybe be a lab tech in college, and then after I get my degree, hopefully go straight into the industry. I did it because I needed something that set me apart from the other applicants in my area. I think over time, the credentialing will become a standard and it'll help funnel more qualified candidates into the biomanufacturing, biotechnology field. I do highly encourage all employers to consider making base certification a preference in job description. And the next step is to get broad adoption from the industry. And that's what we're working on right now. We have a generation coming into the workforce that wants to be inspired in their jobs and they want to make a difference. There's an opportunity to make an impact and feel like you're really changing the world in your job. They want jobs that are purposeful, that have a meaning. With the base credential, the opportunity is there to enter these meaningful, high growth and rewarding careers.